now that we've filled you in on what to expect from yoga on tap, I think we should do some of the yoga. We have Megan back with us to talk a little bit about, I, I think this is great. Uh, I was listening to the interview that you guys just did. Uh, you don't have to be a yogi. You don't have to be an no. expert. Uh, going to yoga on tap is really maybe a great place if you're feeling a little nervous because there's all levels at that's, that class. Yeah, that's correct. It's a, a great way to introduce yourself to yoga and especially the environment. Um, you know, everybody's there because they either love beer or they love yoga or they're just wanting to, you know, come to a community event where they can kind of introduce themselves into yoga as well. So it's a great way to take a class if you've never been to one because you're walking into a brewery and so you know what to expect. And it's just awesome that uh, Fargo Brewing Company has done this for so long and it's every month. It's a monthly event, third Friday of every month. So we're kicking it off this Friday to the 2020 Yoga on Tap season at 5.30 p.m. It's $15, which is a great price. It also includes your class and a beer. So yeah, come okay. check it out. Okay, so can you, you're gonna show me a few of the moves that you will be doing, poses that you'll be doing yep. in class. But in the break, you said these might be some uh, great yoga poses that you could do at work, at your desk, uh, on your own as well. Yeah, you kind of get that mid-afternoon slump where you start to feel like maybe you need to move or maybe you're getting a little tired. So yeah, at your desk, you can do this at home. They're great poses that you can uh, kind of incorporate wherever you are. You don't have to necessarily be in a class and on your mat. Um, I like to do this one. This is going to stretch the side body. So you reach your arms overhead. You're going to interlace the fingers, so point the pointy fingers up. And two options here, you can also take your elbows and grab your elbows and then just gently draw everything over to the right side. Oh, my yep, other, other way. Side. Yeah, my <laughs> other side. side. Yep, other right. And so what's the benefit of, of this? It's just a good stretch. Just a nice good stretch. Through the side body, you can feel, and then take a deep inhale as well. So once you use your breath, we talk a lot about breathing in yoga because it's really important because not only does it help kind of calm the mind and the body, it also helps breathe into spaces that feel tight. So if you have your arms overhead and you're reaching over here to the left side and you can really feel some tightness right here in the muscles, just take a deep inhale in and a slow exhale out, and that kind of helps start to relax the body and relax oh, everything else. Um, another pose that I like to do, especially this time of year, since we've been either shoveling snow or kind of driving around like clinched at the car, you know, or steering wheel, is eagle arms. So you'll start by goal posting your arms out to the side, and then you're gonna take your right arm, bring it underneath. You have two options. You can grab your shoulders, or you can interlace arms and then pull everything away from your chest and your upper body. Oh, pull it out. Yeah. So you're really stretching through the upper part of the back. I can feel it. And you're right. We, we are, we've been shoveling a lot. Right. There's a lot of snow out there. So this is like a great one that if you're just kind of sitting around and you start to feel that tension and that tightness in that upper part of your back, um, it's a great one to stretch the arms out. And the deeper you breathe, the deeper it's going to expand those muscles and really get nice and stretched out. So. Oh, I like those. Both yeah. of those felt great. And you could do those anywhere. You can do those anywhere. You don't need to be on a yoga mat. You can sit at your desk. You can be on a couch at home and just, you know, move the arms, stretch side to side. And yeah, it works. Um, another pose I really like to do is tree pose because it is a balancing pose, which a lot of Instagram yogis that you see are always doing all these crazy balancing poses. Uh, tree pose is really accessible to everybody. It's great because it incorporates balancing, but there's so many different levels to get into it that anybody can attempt and play around with tree pose. And we'll start by connecting one foot to the mat and whatever foot you want. We'll start, I like to start with my right because I'm right-handed. You'll ground down, you'll feel, we say ground down, that means just connect your foot to your mat. And then you'll start to lift up your left foot. And then your hands will come to the heart center. And you're going to use your core. A lot about yoga is using that core. Now start to lift the foot, maybe onto the calf. Okay. Yeah. And that's where you're saying you can modify this. Yeah. On you can either... Calf, is fine. On, your, on the floor? On the okay. floor, on the calf. You can even expand up into the thigh. Like the pressure here. Yeah. And then if you want to get real crazy, you can grow your branches. Reach up. Okay, this yeah. is good for the core. <laughs> And you'll be doing a lot of this in the class. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very beginner friendly balancing pose. Um, I like to incorporate it into a lot of my classes because um, it's accessible for everybody. So, okay. Yeah. So what is like the most advanced pose that you may do in your class? I would say anything that involves balancing is going to be a little bit more advanced because you're shifting all your weight into one leg, grounding down, and then it's kind of working not only those muscles in that leg, but it's also working your mind because you're trying to focus on balancing and staying upright. So probably the most advanced pose would be some kind of one-legged balancing pose. But like I said, there's lots of different ways to get into a yoga pose. There's lots of ways to make it easy, make it more advanced. So they, like I said, all levels. It's really friendly for that. So. And the focus of your class, you're going to do a lot of stretching. In this yeah. Mindset. Yeah. Um, I found that my passion when I was going through yoga teacher training was to kind of work on flexibility within the body. 
Um, I come from having a lot of tight hamstrings just because of sports and other things that I do. I like to run, and so that's always working my legs and making those muscles super tight. So when I teach yoga, I tend to focus a little bit more on flexibility within the body. Um, so working on hamstrings, hips, and shoulders, those tend to be like really tight areas that everybody tends to request. I love it. So whether you're yeah. a runner or whether you've just been shoveling a lot, yep. check out this class and you get a beer at the end. That's great. Yep. Win, That's win. yep, you're winning. So, I love it. Yeah. We'll put up a link. Uh, and you just click on our hot button to, to find out more information as well. So yeah. thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Nice little starter, uh, you know, yoga class here for me as well. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs>